Hi, freaky friends. This is Colleen. And this is Margaret. And, and we're, we're the Cousins Weird. And we're terrible trending today. Woohoo! Don't ask what number. You'll see it in the Yeah, the, I can't do that because I kind of lost track of that. We're, we're in the 50s. Yeah. 55, maybe. I don't know. No, we're past that. 58, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we're in 60. I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, but we're still in spooky season, so I wanted to do a little Halloween-y kind of trend. You're such a weenie. I am a weenie. <laughs> so, Halloween didn't always focus on creepy, scary monster spookiness. In the late 19th century and early 20th century, it was less about scary monsters and gore and masks and stuff, and more about courtship and romance. Hmm. Yeah. Single people, especially women, would partake in rituals to tell them of their true love and fortune telling. Cool. So I think a lot of it had to do with gave women a chance to, like, let's think of today and how women sometimes dress in maybe revealing outfits. On, it's like a, re, a way for them to be able to do that. Like sexy nurse. Yeah, sexy nurse. Sexy devil. Where they maybe in the rest of the year, they would never dress that way, but it gives them like an excuse to be able to dress a certain way. And I'm not even shaming anyone. Like, get it, girl. Dress however you want. Oh, yeah. But some people might not feel comfortable doing it normally, but that gives them an excuse to do it. I think this, the whole um, spiritualism, or uh, um, they were doing seances and stuff. Like, the good women wouldn't do that. But on Halloween, you could because it was a part right. of the tradition. So it yeah. gave them an excuse to be able to do it. Because women had very little control over basically anything. Anything. Yeah. Nothing. They had control over nothing. Yeah. Except is this a terrible trend? Do. Is it a bad trend? Not necessarily. Do I like that Halloween's spooky now instead of about romance? Yeah. Uh-huh. But we're going to talk about some rituals that you used to do in Halloween to find your true love. And they're from all over England and Scotland and Ireland, the Celtic tradition. So there's an Irish tradition called the Barmbarat. They would bake objects into bread. And what you got when you ate the bread or broke the bread open predicted your romantic future. I've heard of that. Yeah, it's a thing. If you got a pea, you wouldn't marry in the upcoming year. If you got a stick, like I'd be pissed if I bit into bread and there was a stick in it. Yes. It means you'd have an unhappy marriage. If you got a ring, the person would get married in within the year. But I hope you don't swallow or broke your tooth on the ring. Yeah. A coin, you'd have a prosperous year. Now, this one would really make me mad, too. An old cloth. <laughs> Yuck. Don't Ew. Eat that food. Don't put crap like that. I know. Food. Finances would be bleak. And if you got a thimble, you'd be an old maid. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Because that that's the worst thing you could possibly be. You know, I know. An old maid. It was. Who's going to take care of you? You can't. You can't. You honestly can't take care of yourself. No. You need a man. You need a man. There was another tradition with a mirror at midnight. You had to go down stairs, stairs backwards holding a mirror and you'd see your true love. Or you'd die. Or you break your foot. <laughs> yeah. No thanks. But I, I can't walk down. Help. I can't walk upstairs no more. Front ways. <laughs> front ways without a mirror. Jeez. <laughs> what are they trying to do? They're trying to kill these. That's why they're seeing skeletons behind them. It's because they're yeah. walking down the stairs <laughs> backwards. backwards. <laughs> Looking through a mirror. <laughs> Jesus. Stupid. Wicked. There's another tradition where you wet your sleeve in a south running stream. <laughs> Very specific. <laughs> then you hang your wet clothes by your and by a fire in your home. Go to bed, but don't sleep. Keep an eye on the fire. You have to pretend you're sleeping, but you're not really sleeping. You will see an apparition of your true love who will come to turn the sleeve to dry it. If you don't see it, you must have fallen asleep. It wasn't because that's not going to happen. You right. had to have fallen asleep. Because your flaming <laughs> apparition of your love is going to catch your house on fire <laughs> out of the fireplace. And it's like, why... If your true love is is not dead, why are there apparitions of them? Like, what's going on here? I don't like that one. Yeah. There's another tradition at midnight on Halloween. Men or women walk around a walnut tree three times while yelling. <laughs> it's probably mostly women doing this. Let him that is my true love bring me some walnuts. And her future spouse will appear in the tree gathering nuts. <laughs> it's just weird <laughs> shit. Like, why? 
Who thought of this? Who, yeah, some somebody did it as a joke, and then it just and then caught it was like, on. yeah, and women are wandering around a tree yelling, no! yeah, "Come to me, and all the, the and men." The men are like, "What?" I know, so gullible. I know. There's a Scottish tradition called pulling kale or pulling cabbage. You could use cabbage or kale. A single person goes into a field blindfolded and pulls up the vegetable. The shape of the kale <laughs> is said. Whatever shape it is, is the shape of your spouse will be. What? So if it's long and thin, you have it's short and stubby, that's what your spouse would be. The taste of it would be, indicate their disposition. So oh. if it's bitter. It's cabbage! It's going to taste like a taste like a fart. <laughs> He's going to... You're gonna well, party. I'm sure all their husbands probably did fart a lot. Yes, because they probably ate a lot of cabbage. They probably ate a lot of cabbage. Yeah. yeah. Um, the amount of dirt on the roots indicates the amount of wealth you have. So there's a whole predicting things happening by picking kale with your blindfold. Oh, I, I they just re-evaluated my DNA and I'm 40% Scottish. Get it, girl. And 37% English. So I'm more Scottish than anything. I'm so happy. I'm most Scottish too. And then Irish. I'm Scottish, like 47%. Scottish, English, Irish. I'm Scottish, English, and then a lot of Scottish. Pretty good amount of English. And yeah. A little bit of Irish. Yeah, like 19 or something. Very Celtic. Okay. So another one's called snap apple. They would hang apples from their stems with a string. And they would tie hands behind the back. And they only could use their teeth to grab it. Now, I remember doing something like this with donuts. Do you remember oh, doing yeah, donuts? Oh, yeah. It's a fire station. They had a holiday um, party. So they, they'd have to... Now, the apples would be uh, labeled with initials. And they would try to grab it with their teeth, with their arms tied behind their back. And if they got the apple with the initial on it, of they, that would be who they would marry. It became so popular that Halloween was actually referred to as Snap Apple Night. Like it was a big deal. Apples are really big part of Halloween when it comes to this predicting uh, your loved apples one. anyway, because like they're in well, season. season. Like especially up here, it's apples everywhere. Yeah. I'm 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 all for it. I love apples. And this whole tradition kind of led to bobbing for apples. It was the same idea. Women actually would mark the apples with their initial and drop them into a tub of water in America here because that was an uh -huh. English tradition. And then, and then men would bob and they'd find their match. Try to drown bite. them. Yeah, by biting the apple in the bobby. Do you know how hard it is to bite an apple it's in a tub worst. of water? It's almost impossible. I I hate that they, that's even a thing. I think I hate too. If it, the apples are small, then they're easier to bite. But right. if they're big, you can't bite that. No, no one can bite that. I could barely bite it holding it in my hand when they're big apple. I'm a slicer. Now the Philadelphia's Evening Ledger in 1914 described a game where you'd bury three items. A dime, a ring, and a thimble. This is kind of like the Irish tradition. In mashed potatoes. And serve it to Why guests at a party. Put shit in food. Now, the one who got the ring would marry soon. The one who got the thimble would spend their life alone. Kind of like the old maid. Mm -hmm. And if you got a dime, you'd expect fame and fortune. So out of all those, give me that dime. Mm -hmm. I want the money. I don't <laughs> care about the, the marriage. I don't care about the... <laughs> Thimble, I'm not going to be home at Old Maid. I'm going to be rich and famous, and I won't care about anything Give me else. Give Thimble, I'll be rich and famous for sewing something. That's right. I'll sew you up all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's a Celtic tradition using chestnuts to represent a couple. They would toss them into the fire. If the nuts stayed near each other, that meant that your relationship would last. So this would be a, a couple that were dating or married would do this on Halloween. If they cracked and popped away from each other and split... Then you'd break up. So that's just like, let's just doom our relationship here. Yeah. And do for this. Sure. And, oh, well, you're going to leave me. And then that's it. You might as well. Why even bother? Why, why are we even together? You might as well go. Now. <laughs> <laughs> and now here's another Apple one. In England, we have young women. I think we talked about this when I did the history of Halloween. Young women would, would peel an apple in a single long piece. You had to keep peeling it. And then you'd throw the peel over your shoulder. And whatever the peel looked like when it landed, whatever letter it resembled would be your true love's initial. Let's hope your Dang. first, your true love's letter is first is an F or E. I mean, it could do an E, but like, how would you make an F with a single? I don't know. Apple I don't know. Or an X, or yeah. a T. Yeah. You need two pieces. Maybe I don't know how. You or an A. There's a lot you couldn't have. It's very, you gotta be a C, a C and an O. That's Wait, about okay. it. Yeah, or an N. 
I probably not even. I, I, I chances it's gonna round itself. It's gonna be round. It's gonna be an O. It's gonna be an O. o. Everyone's e. an O. Maybe an E. A lowercase E. Maybe if you're lucky. Scottish tradition, women would eat a sugary dessert. I think I already talked about this too. Made of hazelnut, nutmeg, and walnuts before bed that would induce dreams of her future husband. It sounds delicious. Yeah. Give I think that, it was just an excuse to eat that. Give me that part that. with the hazelnut and the cinnamon and the walnuts. Yeah. I think it was just an excuse it. to eat something yummy. Yeah. And I would totally do that. I would too. There was and this other tradition. dream about eating something sweet and yummy. Yeah. A man. I was going to say your husband. Your husband. Hopefully he's sweet and yummy. Hopefully. Women go outside, pluck a strand of their hair from their head. This is so witchy. And let let it go. The direction it blows is the direction of their spouse, where their future spouse lives. They must say, I pluck this lock of hair off my head to tell whence comes the one I shall wed. Fly we silk talked about this too. Silken hair. Fly all around, world around, until you reach the spot where my true love is found. Did we talk about, no, we talked about the shoe one where they have the, the shoe. shoe. Yeah. Smack him in the face. That was the shoe. direction that they had to go to travel or something. I don't remember. It was weird. Yeah. Yeah, the shoe Although one. It was, shoe, it was superstition. It was episode. superstition. Oh, that was my, I, I loved that yeah, that title funny. I made. <laughs> crack myself up. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> all this is very witchy and pagan for a bunch of Christian people. That's why they did uh -huh. it. Like they were like, I want to still do these traditions, but I can't have, only do it on Halloween and we'll, I can get away with it, you know? Yeah, it's fun. Um stuff. the bonfire test was to cut a few strands of hair and drop them into a burning fire on Halloween. This will encourage dreams of your future spouse. Cool. So if you're single ready to mingle and you're listening to this episode try one of these traditions and then hit us up and let us know how it worked out for you yeah we want to know we should get some chestnuts and throw them in a fire and see if our husband i want the us. the cinnamon hazelnut Margaret's like i just want to dream about pedro pascal i'll dream i'll be, and he'll, he'll he'll be slowly feeding me hazelnuts yeah. <laughs> by mouth don't give me peeled grapes give me hazelnuts <laughs> Give me that filbert, baby. <laughs> Walnuts. <laughs> Which is funny. That's what I snack on when I was well, I was snacking on almonds, raw almonds. Almonds. Almonds and pecans. My fr my friend Trish, if she's watching this, she calls them almonds. Almonds. Yeah. <laughs> I always think it's almonds. Before. But she also calls any kind of pain reliever aspirin. She's like, I need an app. She's like from 1940. <laughs> <laughs> she's like waving her hands. Oh, I need an app. <laughs> I love Trish. She's so cute. Yeah. We love you, Trish. So she's totally an old soul. Oh, she is. She's like an ancient soul. Yeah. What are you saying? She's old? No, I just say <laughs> her soul is old because she yeah. has like like she's the embodiment of like like someone from the forties. Yeah. She's like she totally from is. the forties. Yeah. In the best way though. Oh yeah. To be glamorous. Yeah. Yeah. So those are the the traditions of finding true love on on Halloween. So, like I said, if you're single, ready to mingle, try those out. And we'll throw some chestnuts on a fire and see if our husbands love us. If they split up, we'll kick them in the narks. Exactly. <laughs> They're like, we didn't do anything. The our chestnut said so. Like, if we each threw a chestnut, it would meld together, become one chestnut. We, yeah, ours would. Totally, 100%. If they're for us, for ours sure. would. We knew that already. We don't even need to throw them in there. We, we don't. That. We don't really. We just find the ones that are growing is one, like a mutant yeah. chestnut that's two chestnuts like grown together. Yeah, we would find them that way. We would. We wouldn't even have to no. do anything. And we'd throw that one in the fire. Yeah. So I don't know when this is going to come out. So if you have not saw the paper in Watertown, the Watertown Daily Times on October 21st, you should find it. You should look online or go get it right now because we're in it. We are. And it's all about us and our podcast. And there'll be a picture of us in our podcast. Yeah, because we're talking from the past. We haven't, this paper has not come out yet. No. But by the time this comes out, it'll be the it future. Has. It'll be the future. Because we're practically Marty McFly and Dot. We are. We're practically. practically them. So, I mean, we just traveled back and forth, back to the future. I'm Claire, I'm Claire Frazier, and I'm traveling. This is an Outlander Stones thing. To back to 1700 Scotland and finding hot Scottish guys. Okay. That's my goal. I guess I'm Marty McFly. They're all dirty and stinky. Well, no everyone in Watertown is going to be dirty and stinky here in about a day because there's no water. <laughs> there's no water. So, it's fine. Which isn't it's funny. Fine. No, but it's not, but you have to make light of it. I, like, I, I'm not stressed out about it because I live outside. I don't live in town. Right. And you have a well, right? Yeah. Yeah. My parents, I mean, 
right where we are right now. My mom tests as well. You're like five minutes from your mom. Yeah, you? so I don't have to worry about it, really. And I bought, I have about 13 gallons of water, so I'm fine. And then take way. those jugs to the yeah. Get them five gallons for a quarter. Yeah. Different street well, the water yeah. place. That's There's where probably we, a line. That's where I always, I know there probably is right now, but that's where we get our water anyway. I don't drink city water. I don't make my coffee with it. I don't, I only use spring water. We, that's where we get our water because we live around farms. Like, like they, they spread yeah. cow shit. Yeah. In I the can fields, get into the all ground. around our house and I had my water smell like shit. So. I don't no drink one the water shit either. Water. That's not something people mm -hmm. go looking for. I'm sure for. there's tons of E. coli bacteria in my water. Yum. Mm. And that other, what, the C one. C bacteria, the CH one. Or something. Cholera. No, that's not. not the whole thing is <laughs> cholera in the <laughs> water. Diphtheria. Mark is spreading the whole bag. No, dysentery. That's dysentery. the one that makes you shit yourself. To oh, drink. that's terrible. No Awful. one wants that. No, no one wants that. You definitely won't find true love if you're shit. <laughs> 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 mm -mm. oh, so if you want to see pictures of these fun traditions, and they used to have like, it looked like Valentine's Day cards, but they were Halloween cards. So I'm going to share, I have a bunch of those saved. I'm going to share those with you guys. Check out Facebook and Instagram. We always have our pictures from our episodes on there. You show pictures of us doing stuff too on there yes. um and then our episodes will pop up and you can share them with your friends because that's how you spread the word share our podcast with your friends and then if you rate us and review us on your platform of choice then you will what you doing writing a note to myself because oh. i have talked to you about something oh and i keep forgetting oh. <laughs> so you're gonna want to rate us and review us on those because it pushes us out there to the universe and other people will find us Yes. And if you'd like to reach out to us, you can send us an email at thecousinsweird at gmail.com or send us a direct message through Facebook or Instagram. Like us while you're there and rate us while you're there because, you know, we just said that helps us out. Um, reach out to us. Tell us hi. Let us know what you think. If you have any suggestions for future topics, let us send it on our way. We'd love to hear your thoughts. We want to know what you want to hear. Don't uh, send us nasty stuff because we don't want to see it or hear it. Yeah. Unless it's these are oh, don't send us any unsolicited that's like, pictures. Um, but we cover terrible nasty yeah. stuff, so that's kind of redundant to say. Just don't send us unsolicited pictures. Don't send us dick pics because yeah. we don't want to see them. We don't need that unless it's fasten them and it's actually a statue of a phallus from like the ancient Rome times. What if they tell you that's what it is? We'll know the difference. <laughs> I'm sure we'll know the difference. Well, you probably just manifested they that. They need to that right. This. Like, it's if you go on Snapchat with a fascinous, <laughs> like, filter. <laughs> Everything looks like a penis. But it has your face on <laughs> in the top. <laughs> and you know how they have, like, yeah, they have, like, you with whatever it is with your face. <laughs> you can make it talk. Uh. <laughs> Why do I think those things are the funniest things? You yeah. put your face Not on Not with a penis. It, still would it would be funny. be funny with your little, because your little are Napoleons. Yeah. Little corporal. I mean, he was, was cute. One of my Actually, favorite. Actually, he was very cute. Yeah, it was. You have to admit. It was. It was, it was one of my favorite little things that you made. Yeah. That's pretty great. I don't know where. Oh, if you want to support us, you can go to patreon.com backslash because we're for a dollar a month. You can free friend. You get a sticker and bonus content for $5 a month. You become a table trender. You get a sticker, bonus content, ad free episodes, and a uh, quarterly Skype. Could not think. Could nothing. Not think, which we're getting ready to do that. So we're going to get ready to do that. If you'd it, like so to Skype with now. us, go become a terrible trender. Hop in right now. And we got some fun ideas for some bonus content too. So yeah, it'll be good. It'll be fun. I which hope we could do that for our Skype too. Wouldn't it be fun? Do it with our Patreon. We can do that. We should do that. We should. Yeah. Something special and fun. Join our Patreon group. You can join in too. You can. Okay. That's a wrap. Bye. Bye. Stay freaky. Stay freaky.